Hello everybody, Jordan here, the PH is silent. Today I'd like to talk about the region Eltergard, and more specifically its capital, Elturel. With new lore added recently thanks to Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus, this video will have some Descent into Avernus spoilers, so if you are playing in that game you might want to stop this video and don't spoil the epic adventure for yourself. Eltergard is located in the western heartlands just west of Baldur's Gate off the Sword Coast. Eltergard was ruled from the city of El Terrell as a theocracy. Priests and paladins of Torm directed the city's government. The river Chianthar is next to El Terrell and flows down past Baldur's Gate into the ocean. It was in the late 1350s DR that El Terrell started conquering the neighboring cities and placed them in El Terrell's guard, which made them the regional power. El Terrell's guard, El Tergard, get it? El Terrell was a natural stronghold that was held by trolls, then orcs, before humans drove them out and settled there. Its main industry is trade, with agriculture from the surrounding regions contributing. The people of El Tergard have their problems. Goblins, orcs, even nagas, and other creatures harass and attack its citizens. Protection was partially how El Terrell was able to acquire the nearby lands. El Terrell has an elite group of cavalry known as the Hellriders that patrol El Tergard and protect its citizens. The Hellriders were well established and famous across Faerun throughout the late 1350s. It was rumored that the Hellriders got their name because long ago warriors of El Terrell rode through a gate into the first layer of the Nine Hells, Avernus, to destroy devils that had been plaguing the city. It wasn't until we got more information in the adventure of Baldur's Gate descent into Avernus that the true story really came out. Zariel, an angel from Mount Celestia, defied her superiors and came to El Terrell where she rallied an army of warriors and trained them to fight. Her goal was to take them into the Nine Hells and fight in the Blood War, stopping both devil and demon. In 1354 DR, Zariel led her forces in an event known as the Ride. Her mortal warriors fought bravely, but the devils and demons proved too much, and many of them fled the Nine Hells and sealed the portal behind them, leaving Zariel there with many of their compatriots. Never revealing their shameful retreat, the warriors came back to El Terrell and became known as the Hell Riders. The leader of the Hell Riders was known as the High Rider, and in 1444 DR, the High Rider was discovered to be a vampire, with a network of charmed minions, other vampires, and undead allies. This was a shock to everyone, even most of the Hell Riders, but the undead were so entrenched within El Terrell, it seemed impossible to root out the entire problem. It was said that all El Turians prayed to the gods each night for the dawn to come sooner, to keep the undead and vampires at bay. Then one terrible night where the morning seemed like it would never appear, a second sun manifested in the sky. This suddenly turned night into day and the High Rider Vampire Lord and his spawn suddenly turned to ash. The remaining undead forces fled out of El Terrell to get away from the light. The light was like a small second sun. It hovered above the high hall of El Terrell and illuminated the entire city. It became known as the Companion. The people of El Terrell cheered at the gods, saving them, and assumed the light would disappear once the natural sun rose that morning, but it did not. The Companion stayed, and although shed no heat, did protect El Terrell and the surrounding areas with its sunlight. No one was exactly sure where the second sun had come from. Many started calling it Amanator's gift, Amanator being the sun god. This reinvigorated the city. Many traveled to be bathed in the light of the companion. Some thought it would heal their sicknesses. Others wanted to experience the blessing of a god. Paladins of Torm got together and formed the Order of the Companion, protecting El Terrell from threats. Despite Torm being the major deity worshipped in El Terrell, other gods were accepted. Even those paladins who are part of the Order of the Companion would worship Tyr, Helm, or Amanator. These paladins live up to an oath they took, more than a directive from a particular god. Their oath is known as the Creed Resolute, which says they must serve the High Observer and the Greater Good, to uphold Eltergard's law. The Hellriders also adopted this creed, and Eltergard was seen as a holy place with holy warriors. It was Thravis Krieg who took credit for the companion, the sun above El Terrell. He said it was his prayers that were answered and was soon declared High Observer ruling over El Terrell, and wisely ruled he did. El Terrell became a holy city of Torm under protection from the Order of the Companion and the elite cavalry, the Hellriders. It can be difficult for newcomers coming to El Terrell with the constant daylight. Inns often hang thick cloth to block out the light so visitors can sleep, and citizens rely on the tolling of bells to know when labors have ended for the day. Thravis Krieg, High Observer of El Terrell and Priest of Torm, had a secret. 
He prayed to Torm to protect his city from the undead threat. He prayed to other gods for their intervention. And finally, he prayed to anyone who would hear him. And it was Zariel that answered. The second son was not the doing of Amanator, nor any god. The fallen angel Zariel appeared before Thravis Krieg in a pillar of fire and offered him a deal. Thravis, seeing no hope left, quickly accepted. Zariel offered to save Elturel, but for a price that would be paid later on. The second sun of radiant light hovering above Elturel was in actuality an imprisoned planetar. The clock was ticking, and after several decades of peace and prosperity, the city of Elturel and Thravis Krieg had to pay their dues. The large white orb, the companion, transformed into a crackling ball of black energy that grew and enveloped the entire city, transporting Elturel into Avernus, the first layer of the Nine Hells. Thravis Krieg escaped because he knew the time and date when Elturel would be taken. It's currently up to you, adventurers of the realms who can travel to the Nine Hells and hopefully figure out a way to return Elturel back to the Prime Material Plane. Thanks for watching, and thanks to my patrons on Patreon that keep these videos going. It's interesting how Wizards of the Coast expanded upon this mythology set up in 3rd and 4th edition. I believe that's the fun of the realms, the unexplained stuff that new writers can take and make into an interesting story. Give the video a thumbs up, share it with your gaming group, and I will see you all in the next one.